Have any of y'all weebs out there heard of Madoka Magica, by chance? Because I've known about it for a very long time, and uh, I've only just recently started watching it, actually. And the reason being is because I avoided Madoka for a very long time, because, well, frankly, this is before I had ever seen anything that was just nihilistic in any way, shape, or form. I, I This is long before I had completed Danganronpa, long before I had played, long, long before I played Doki Doki Literature Club. This is before I had even seen Cry's playthrough of Corpse Party. I'd never really been experienced to anything of that sort before. And, yeah, it just, to me, I was warned ahead of time that it's just something that's going to kind of catch me by surprise. It's going to start out really cute and then just turn horrific out of nowhere and I just wasn't into that, you know what I mean? So, alright, let's just pretend that you have no idea what Madoka is. What can I say here that's not, like, super spoilery or going to ruin your time with it? What exactly am I talking about here? Well, Madoka is a show where, if you guys have never heard of the magical girl trope in any way, shape, or form before, well, honestly, Madoka is, like, the OG aside from Sailor Moon when it comes to magical girls, and this is just a trope that's in anime, essentially. Like, if you guys have also ever played Final Fantasy X-2, in a way, they are magical girls, because it's really heavily tied to, like, the whole changing your outfit thing, and just the crazy flashy moves, arms, leg up, transformed leg, like, that kind of shit, really. That's, that is what Madoka is. But, Madoka always had a different tone to it than what you would expect from a typical magical girl kind of theme, which is, again, going back to what I was saying about, like, Doki Doki Literature Club, is that it's also very nihilistic. It focuses a lot on just kind of, like, the hopelessness of the magical girl's situation, which is really interesting. I thought for a very long time before going into this that Madoka was going to just be, like, really violent and gory, and that I was going to just see, like, a bunch of just kids getting killed off in awful, horrific ways, and it's not nearly as bad as I thought that it would be, thank fuck. So, I wound up just getting completely sucked into this anime after watching it, and easily it is one of my favorite things that I have seen to date, in terms of anime, and I very highly recommend anybody who hasn't seen it to watch it. And this is coming from a guy that does not like the magical girl theme. I do not like that trope, that genre of anime. I really don't. I'm not a big fan of magical girls, and I'm not a big fan of school animes anymore either, on top of it, and even more so, I'm just not a big fan of just magic. It was the thing that was really popular when I was in high school. This is when Madoka had originally come out, too, I believe, like 2011, 2012, around that time period. I was around a lot of high school women that were really into, like, pagan and Wiccan or Witchin. I'm not 100% sure how it's supposed to be pronounced, but they were really into that kind of thing. It was just a popular thing among high schoolers when I was younger, especially women, and therefore I was exposed to a lot of, uh, just Madoka in general, it was a very heavy recommendation from a lot of people that I hung out with that liked anime. It was just a thing that came up very frequently. But I've never been a big fan of magic on its own, just magic as it is. It needs to have some kind of, like, swords and shields fantasy shit to it to be able to... You know what I mean? Like, I'm just... I'm not a big fan of witchcraft, magic, you know, that kind of stuff. Never been a big fan of it, but... Madoka, on the other hand, is just really fucking great, just with the ways... I'm going to go into why it's great in a minute here, but I should just let you guys know from this point forward that it could be spoilery, so I hope that's okay with you. So assuming that I still have your attention here, really, the, what makes Madoka really good to me and why I enjoyed this anime so fucking much is, first of all, it's only 12 episodes in the first season. There are a ton of other, I believe, games and spinoffs and stuff like that that have been made since then, but in terms of the actual plotline of the original Madoka Magica, I think it's just that series. There are three movies that were made, two of them are recaps of the original series, and then the third one is a continuation of that. And now they are currently this year uh, publishing and airing another series called uh, Magia Record that I have been watching. I, I've, I'm already caught up right now. So that that's what you have to deal with for the, uh, for the main arc of it, I guess. I don't know if you would call it an arc, but you get what my point is. 
But in the 12 episodes that they give you in the original Madoka Magica, they are really good at just giving you the the rules of the universe, why things are the way that they are, how things work, what is a magical girl, how does one become a magical girl, etc., what their goal is. You're never confused about the world building, really. I, I mean... I, mean, I guess you could be confused about the world building, but the point of the matter is they establish the rules and they don't break them. They are incredibly consistent. Very incredibly consistent. I can't go any further with what I was going to say there, or that would be an absolute fucking... It, that would be a spoiler 100% if I explained why, but they are really consistent with the rule set about how things work in that universe, especially when it comes to being a magical girl, and it is great to me that way because I'm so sick and tired of playing games and watching anime and TV shows and asking questions that are just very basic world-related questions that don't ever get answered. And it's just so fucking annoying to have to do that and just, you know what, whatever, we'll just go with it and then they just pull things out of their ass. There's only one particular thing that ever happened in Madoka that made me question it. Which, honestly, it's really just more nitpicky than actually being a plot hole or anything, and that was at the end of the Rebellion movie before they moved into the Magia Record shit. And I don't even know if Magia Record actually is a continuation from after that movie. There, there's no general... There's no guarantee for it, because it's weirdly... It seems like it might be in some weird kind of alternate universe thing to it and stuff, so I don't know. It could just be a spin-off of it, but they have characters from the original series in the new series, so it makes me believe that it is a continuation in some way, shape, or form. But again, it's just a really good show in that it establishes the rules, it tells you what can be done, what can't be done, and it doesn't really just strive away from that. And there are gray areas where there are exceptions to this, that, and the other thing that happened, but it's not too big of a... The entire thing, this isn't spoilery, okay, so I'm going to say something about the show particularly here, but it's fine, this gets told to you pretty early on in the show anyway. The show is based almost entirely off of, like, wishes and stuff, and to my knowledge, there isn't really a boundary or a limit to what that wish can grant, so I will leave that there. I'm not going to expound on that one any further, but you get what my point is that I'm going towards, so... That's what I mean. But, yeah, it's just, it, it's a fucking great show, guys. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Fucking watch that show. It, it's really fucking good, and it's pretty short. It's not going to take a shitload of your time. I'm not asking you to watch fucking One Piece or anything like that. Even if you're not a big fan of, like, magic and stuff, just, if you like nihilistic kind of stuff because it feels more realistic to you, like, you know what I mean? Because life, frankly, sucks. Not many things happen exactly the way that you want them to happen. Nothing does, really, in my case, but things don't really happen out the way that you have them in your mind in reality. And that's why these nihilistic shows and plots are usually really good, even though they're sad in some way, shape, or form. And this show has definitely fucked me up emotionally a couple of times, too, because it just it does hit you in the feels. Absolutely. So, uh, I'm just gonna leave it on there, guys. Again, just, if you, like, watch the show if you haven't watched it and you're an anime person. Seriously. I have Verve and I've been having access to everything that I've needed with the exception of the movie. So, you'll have to figure out somewhere else to find that or buy it or something. I don't fucking know, but... Yeah, just watch the show. At least the original series. At least get three, four, five episodes into Madoka Magica. You will know exactly what I mean when you hit episode 3, but just at least get that far into it so you know what you're getting into, because it is interesting as fuck, and the art style and music is something that is just fucking amazing in that show as well. It's pretty hard to have bad music in an anime, but the music in Madoka is really good, and I will probably never fucking forget any of the partic of the um, main tracks in the soundtrack that is that you hear during key scenes but uh yeah 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 so take it easy guys i'm done with that rant that went on way too long and got almost nowhere because i just fucking lost track of what i was doing so yeah i'm gonna go over to recording lobotomy now and 
Really, that's, uh, that's everything for this video. So, watch Madoka. That's all, folks.